What's going on guys? My name is Hussein from the GeoDatabase team here in Esri and today we're going to learn how to use uh, the next sequence value arcade function in order to uniquely identify every single feature uh, that we create. For example, just like this. So I'm going to create a bunch of features and as you can see, each feature is uniquely identified by a unique number. So how about we jump into it guys? All right, guys, so I'm going to use a file GDB for this one, but you can uh, simply use Enterprise GeoDatabase or any uh, any flavor of DBMS that supports your GeoDatabase. So the first thing we're going to need to do is actually create a sequence. And the sequence is a database construct that allow you to, um, to basically ask the database for a unique number and that number get incremented uh, by whatever increment that you include. So in this case, I'm going to uh, pick up my geodatabase here, right here, file GDB. I'm going to call it my sequence number. And I'm going to, you can start from any number you want, let's say from 100. And you can also control the sequence increment value. So if you want to increment by one or by 100, by 200 or any number you want, right? So I'm going to, let's say I'm going to increment by 10 for simplicity here. And just like go and create the sequence and just like that the sequence is now created let's keep track of this my sequence number because we're going to use it in the attributes rule now so how about we create a feature class and um, let's call it test make it a point class next uh, create our unique id field let's leave it as text because i want to combine it with other stuff uh, we need a global id because it's a attribute rule and uh, go ahead and hit finish. All right, so I'm going to go right to click, design, attribute rule. Now I'm going to go ahead and add an immediate calculation rule. Let's say uh, calculate unique ID. This is the name of the attribute rule. I don't have any subtypes, so all I want to assign it to the unique ID field. And I'm only interested when I create new features. So I want only to tr trigger this uh, rule when I create new features. So let's go ahead and add that expression as follows. It's a very simple expression. So all we need to do is say var id equal next sequence value. That is an arcade function that will you that will call find the sequence that is stored in the database in, in case it was called my seq. And uh, just like that, I want to return uh, say my ID or ID or anything like that dash plus ID. I can even use the new uh, 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 syntax, the template letters to to do this instead if I want to. Just for simplicity, right? This is the new arcade syntax. This definitely works in two six. If you use Pro two six, you'll be able to do that. It's just easy to read, right? Instead of doing pluses. And concatenation so yeah this will basically concatenate that id the variables id let's go ahead and save my calculation rule and let's test this thing so i'm gonna go ahead and add a new map right and for something let's just label things so we actually see what we're creating on the unique id and the moment of truth i'm about to create features and as you can see these features are starting from 100 and they are getting incremented by 10 right and that's it that's how we use the next sequence value to uh, create an attribute rule that allows you to sequence your rows thank you so much